Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal, here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review for Monday's trading uh, weekend analysis for the 30th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so going into Monday's trading, we have China off uh, due to the new year. Uh, certainly eyes on Japanese markets overnight in terms of potential direction. But the theme certainly seems to be um, uh, certainly seems to be carved out already with Mr. Trump's uh, so-called Muslim ban, okay, banning potential refugees from entering the country. I think 10 to 12 countries, and now there is a, a global, uh, even in the UK now, there is a petition in terms of banning Mr. Trump from entering the country. He's being obviously uh, called a Hitler, and uh, with his so-called Nazi views, his um, racist and derogatory comments. Um, xenophobic remarks etc etc I mean I think we already knew that uh, the hope was that Mr Trump would would, uh, would certainly tone down the rhetoric and uh, it would be all talk rather than action and it certainly seems to be uh, all action at present with his executive orders that are causing political chaos in the country now there are certain court orders against him now uh, certainly prolifically uh, well renowned judges certainly um, uh, sanctioning against him and like I said the, the rallies certainly are increasing and even those that voted for him now are certainly turning against him. So political uncertainty certainly is considered to be a risk-off uh, move and therefore expect that to uh, to certainly penetrate uh, and pay through into global risk sentiment and certainly look for a potential uh, move lower in European and US equities. And let's look at the FTSE 100 or should we start with the German DAX first and foremost? Okay, so uh, last week, technically speaking, the weekly chart German DAX held that key resistance around the 11800 to 11900 zone so therefore looking for risk aversion now I've looked at the actual sectors as well the, the auto sectors uh, the chemical and the uh, the actual uh, consumer uh, sector as well and chemicals certainly all indicating risk aversion so the daily chart certainly has put in that doji the following day we actually followed through the downside so certainly risk aversion euro usd at the moment is still above the uh, 1.07 level it's certainly gapped higher there is gap fill below uh, certainly looking to potentially close at this so 1.0695 and then you are looking for a potential continuation or a move higher now the daily chart on the euro usd itself uh, has this potential inverted head and shoulders so certainly be made aware of that okay so this IHS still remains regardless of what we uh, currently uh, understand the uh, potential taper higher inflation move certainly seems to be continuing and it'll be interesting to see how Donald Trump's comments are certainly interpreted okay so watch out for the inverted head and shoulders target being let's just confirm this you're looking at 1.1020 so you're looking at 1.1080 and a 19 and 200 ma as well so and again 1.115 certainly can't be ruled out either it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts to mr trump okay so inverted head and shoulders certainly live and kicking in terms of euro and with a stronger euro it generally means exports are going to be hurt and therefore german dax will be under pressure uh, another index as well that's quite important is the european 350 as you can see here uh, the uh, chart certainly is under into resistance and it's certainly weak daily chart certainly putting a topping tail certainly holding resistance weekly chart as well showing that resistance is being held okay topping tail gravestone doji etc and looking for risk aversion same concept here with the german dax if we go to the smaller time frame okay european equity is certainly under pressure we have the unfilled gap below at 11 600 certainly uh, being triggered a uh, potential gap fill into that zone with trump's comments risk aversion obviously political uncertainty the backlash now with the Iraqis and the Iranians now saying that they're going to reciprocate the ban we also have the Chinese as well Chinese leader stating that uh, a potential war with the US now is becoming a reality under a Trump potential pre presidency and that certainly isn't good okay so if the Iranian situation is uh, certainly tension increases there also we had Mr Trump with regards to a potential counter-terrorism uh, action in Yemen that certainly went wrong with a US officer dying as well again creates that uncertainty so that 11600 gap fill certainly seems to be a, a reality so watch out for that gap below on the german dax okay 10 minute chart on the german dax we actually close this gap here uh, underneath at uh, 11800 okay any pop higher at 11850 you are looking at gap fill and therefore looking to close so looking for a risk aversion there okay in terms of the mdax again this is another index certainly worth watching 
you have multiple gaps below that certainly need to be closed 10 minute chart has this H&S formation with a gap below therefore indicating risk aversion there also the daily chart and the weekly chart of the uh, the uh, all tech share tech all share performance index which is a, a tech stock a leading index okay again into resistance and therefore signifying risk aversion especially with this immigration ban a lot of the tech companies now coming out against mr trump uh, and again the uh, the actual uh, political backlash certainly will hurt sentiment okay uh, french cac let's look at the french cac for you on a daily chart basis okay french cac has this hns formation which i've been observing you have a small left shoulder here head obviously being confirmed here looking for this right shoulder her health fib 75 percent resistance has flushed lower into gap fill and a continuation certainly uh, is on the cards so certainly keep an eye out for any weakness on the on the french cac as well okay in terms of the next potential move now just looking at the cac mid and small here daily chart you can see a potential double top going in here okay so again indicating resistance with multiple gaps below and therefore indicating weakness for the french cac okay in terms of the FTSE 100 FTSE 100 certainly uh, uh, displaying bullish tendencies especially with miss may and uh, mr trump meeting as well okay whether or not uh, and also there was a potential court order as well in terms of referring the uh, brexit bill to the european courts so it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts there also obviously with regards to sterling as well we need to keep an eye on sterling in terms of the next potential move uh, for the FTSE 100 but let's bring up the chart of sterling for you okay so sterling into that fib 75 percent on the weekly chart let's just go to the daily give you an insight here you are now coming into resistance there is resistance at 1.2740 which certainly can become a reality so certainly keep an eye on there uh, you do have an inverted head and shoulders pattern as well on the uh, four hour chart that certainly needs to be observed in terms of sterling i'll just bring up the four hour chart here okay so uh, your left shoulder obviously carved in your head that was carved in okay and then obviously it's rip higher okay so again certainly keep an eye on that so again one two seven one two eight certainly a possibility and again a stronger sterling hurts exports and doesn't bode well for the FTSE 100 and again Trump's antics and comments will certainly hurt the uh, global risk sentiment which in turn will hurt the FTSE 100 but having said that FTSE 100 certainly displaying bullish tendencies okay solid support of 7150 down to uh, 7135 in that zone be careful to short the FTSE that's my interpretation okay and again looking for a move higher now we've uh, we haven't closed the gap at 711 uh, six so again that certainly remains open with mr Com trump's comments this bear flag formation which we've been consolidating now for a few days certainly has a possibility of obviously being closed before we attempt to potentially push higher so just be made aware made, made aware of, of that the 10 minute chart has this inverted head and shoulders formation now if mr trump obviously didn't go ahead with his uh, his remarks and his potential ban then my buyer certainly would have been bullish and looking for that potential move higher but um, Mr. Trump's comments certainly will hurt sentiment. Uh, also, the rig count on Friday certainly increased. Okay, uh, it'll be interesting to see how oil prices react now as well, especially with this potential Muslim ban. It's sort of only, only going to uh, increase the extremism and the rhetoric in the East. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly download the latest app, Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers from your Google Play and Apple App Store. Goodbye now.